Hi everyone, it's Robert with RecipeCosting.com and today we upgraded our software to version 2.0. So here I am to do yet another video and to show you what has changed within the software. Quickly you'll notice we have a new icon here called Vendors. Yes, you can add vendors now and the software will keep track of those vendors. And we have a lot of great features coming down the road that we're tying to vendors and inventory. However, for this video, we're just looking at recipe items, so let's take a look at it. I'm going to click on the recipe items button, and right off the bat, you're going to notice it's pretty much the same. You can still do your searching, and everything is listed in a data grid. What's changed is that we can add an item, and when we add an item, we can match it. So that's the change, matching it to the USDA database. So I'm going to select a vendor called Local Grocery Store. You can if you want to. You don't have to. It's cool. It's not a mandatory field. And I am going to select Dairy. And the food item I'm going to use is Butter. And let's use Butter Salted. And you don't have to put a food item number there if you don't want to. It's a case. I buy it by the case. And in the case we have four. And each of those weigh one pound and the purchase price is seven dollars so the software is telling me per pound is a dollar seventy five and per ounce because I use it in ounces I don't really use it in pounds in my recipe it is uh, 0 0.1094 there's 64 ounces so now what I need to do is match it up with the USDA if I want to start using the USDA data in my recipe as I build it. So I gotta match each of these items. I made it really easy. So all you have to do is enter a few of the letters in the um, item that you're looking for. And here we found butter salted, which is the one I'm looking for. I'll select it, tab out of it, and there you go. It has all of your data listed here coming right from the USDA database. So that makes it pretty uh, simple to do. So all I have to do now is save this item and it's done. Oh, I have a duplicate item. So the software says, well, you already have this item listed. So now let's go back to the recipe items page. And just for those of you who haven't used it, I just want to show you how it works. We're going to search butter. There we go. And there goes butter salted. It's true, it's already been in there and notice that all my data is here and notice I'm using it in a different format I'm using it in cups and my price is different so um, you could change that and let's change it to uh, seven dollars so we can make uh, a few of it and let's change it from cups back to pounds and then let's change the breakdown to ounces was one and let's say there are four and there you go so now we're back to where we wanted to be and now I'm going to save it again and the software has saved it so a lot of it's the same and the biggest difference is the matching but once you get the matching done it's there it's in the system and again you can go through it look for it if you can't find it uh, do a quick search if you have that many items pull up all the information there it goes and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to use it inside of a recipe so thanks for watching and I hope that what you learned here today and some of the things you've asked for I was able to incorporate and we have a lot of great things coming out in the next few months thanks